Hello! In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to access PowerSchool as a student. Right now, I'm on the Northern Burlington homepage. The reason is, the best way to access PowerSchool is through the Northern Burlington website, and I'll tell you why. So I'm at nburlington.com, and I'm going to go to Explore, and then Student and Parent Resources. That's going to take me to a long list of resources that you and your family can access. And you'll see that there's a link to PowerSchool. This PowerSchool link is specific to Northern Burlington. If you just typed in PowerSchool on Google, you would access PowerSchool of a different domain. But you need PowerSchool for our school. So going through the website is the best way to do it. I would recommend bookmarking the PowerSchool login page so that you don't have to go back to the website each time. When you log in to PowerSchool, you're going to log in with your Northern Burlington username and password. However, unlike when you log in to Google or your email, you do not need to include the at nburlington.com portion of your username. Instead, I'm going to go with just the number and my name, type in my password, and that will take me to the PowerSchool home screen. This is what you see when you log into PowerSchool. The only difference is that you have a schedule already filled in, like this. This schedule can be a little bit tricky to understand, so hopefully I can help you with that too. Period one, two just means first period. Period three, four is your second period and so on. You'll notice that some periods look like they've been duplicated. Do I have two period one, two classes? No. The reason that two one, two classes are listed are because these are not full year classes. These are semester classes. So for the first half of the year, I'm going to have geometry and probability and then when that semester ends, the second half of the year, I will have Chinese. So anytime you see two numbers of the same period, for now, you only need to pay attention to the first one. So for this schedule, I have homeroom, geometry and probability, global studies, English language arts, apps for academics, science, lunch, concert band, advanced math, and PE. A few other features that are helpful to know in PowerSchool. If I go to the tabs on the left hand side and go to class assignments, this is where I will be able to see all of the assignments that have been entered into PowerSchool and the grades that I have received on them. This is a great way to keep on top of your assignments and the grades, especially for longer term projects or big tests. The report card tab is also a very helpful tab in PowerSchool. This is where I can find my student ID number, which is used for a variety of different things in school. So it's helpful to know that I can find that in the report card tab. I also have a tab for teacher comments. Around report card time, your teachers will enter comments into PowerSchool to tell you how you've been doing throughout that marking period. And I have another tab for the school bulletin, which will have helpful updates from the building principal about clubs and activities and any updates for Northern Burlington. There are many other things that you can explore on PowerSchool, but those are the basics that are important to know as you start the year at Northern Burlington Middle School. I hope this tutorial helped. Bye!